So the Crash Dummies are in the hunt for a new game. We have three games we're considering. We need your help on deciding which game. We have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm gonna go over that one first. Um, but also we'll have Borderlands 3 and Gears 5. I wanna talk about all of those. See what you guys think. You know, what games are you guys excited about? Which games uh, are a must for you? Um, but like I said, we're trying to decide which game do we want to go with. So I did ask the guys uh, what games they're the most excited about. So we'll start with Scuba Steve since yeah, we got all these Scuba Nation guys, all two of you. Uh, Scuba says he's most excited about Gears of War 5, Borderlands 3, then Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Look at this game. This make, game makes you have to work. I think he needs to cut an extra slot just for his backpack. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Okay, now for Striker's ranking. He ranks Borderlands 3, then Gears 5, and finally, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, Striker and I are two of the ones that have actually played Ghost Recon Wildlands, and we both did really like that game. That game's graphics are amazing. Sometimes I wonder if PUBG looks the way that Wildlands does, would it make it even more entertaining? Or... Would it make it harder because there's so much dense forest and brush? Would it have made it more challenging? I don't know, but that game was, it was a lot of fun. It just got a little repetitive at the end. All right, and Toxic Pineapple. His vote is for Gears 5, Borderlands 3, and then Ghost Recon. I'll get to mine and Fowl's in just a second. I want to talk about this game just a little bit. I just, I like the way the look of this is. I like the idea of an assault team coming in out of the forest, assaulting a compound or structure. These buildings look great. Big helicopters. Uh, there's tanks in this. Big open world area where you can do anything you want. Decide how you want to, you know, take your team to take out the buildings. You're not, you know, it's not a linear storyline. Um, the one downside is, and PUBG did this, it kind of screwed up other games. And the fact that when you're playing other people, there's no AI. I mean, you're either good or you're not. You're going to win that fight and be sneaky, or you're going to outgun them. There's different tactics you can do in PUBG. But in this, you're playing AI. In all three of these games that we're going to talk about, you're playing AI, and they all kind of behave the same. So that's the only downside to all three of these games. Please make sure you go upstream from your friends if you're going to get some water. Especially with someone like Scuba, he's a real whiz at games. And there's just so much going on in these short little clips that I've gathered up. I love the, the weather effects in this game. I can't remember if, if uh, Wildlands had weather effects. I'm sure you guys will remind me. But this game just looks great. I mean, so did Wildlands. Uh, but, you know, Wildlands did have its issues, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe they've picked up on some of the things they've made mistakes on and fixed it. But the fact that it was a four-player co-op was just a lot of fun, and they did a lot of things right. Um, this reminds me of Striker. He can roll over and disappear in the grass. I got a feeling he'll be doing that a lot. So I did find more footage of these tanks, and I wanted to play it, but I thought, eh, save something for the next videos. So let's get on to Borderlands 3. Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! You know, I'd forgotten about Claptrap. He was a lot of fun, cracked me up. I'd like playing with Scuba if Claptrap would set me on fire from time to time. One of the other things I liked about Borderlands 3 is it kind of has that look of Mad Max, and I always like the Mad Max feel, but it has a little bit more personality, you know? It's funny, doesn't take itself too serious. Uh, just just fun, just, just different. And so many possibilities. You know, the things you can do with your weapons, upgrading your character. I've always liked that about these games. And they are 
you know, it's it's a somewhat free world. Uh, I'm not sure what Borderlands 3 will be like, if it'll be more of an open world than the previous ones, but that, you know, they did have that open world feel. Here's how Foulmaster Flex ranks the games. He's saying Borderlands 3, Gears 5, and then Breakpoint. I do need to let you all know that we've been debating Borderlands and Gears for a while. It's just Breakpoint, the Ghost Recon game, that I recently found out about, and I started asking them, and they really don't know any, anything okay, so about the, that particular game. The when they watch this video, that'll be the first time they see a lot of information on it. All right, back to Borderlands. Uh, it looks like you can still customize your characters. Um, that's something that Striker and Scuba and Fowl will really love. Me, I always just said, give me a character who's all leveled up. I don't want to mess around with leveling up my characters. That's one of the things I don't really like about Borderlands, but you know, it's okay. The thing I dislike the most about Borderlands was the loot. You could always steal someone's loot. You did all the hard work, they take it. But they're balancing that out now, and that's super interesting. The other thing that they're doing, and this was my biggest complaint about Borderlands, was if you don't play with your friends at the exact same time, you can level past each other. But apparently, they're fixing that. You're gonna have a bounce leveling system, so you can't out-level your friend. So now that I know that, that's gonna move uh, Borderlands up for me just a little bit. Gods don't negotiate. Gods don't negotiate! I love it! Love it! Almost there! comfortable you know like a fleshy sleeping bag although I do feel a bit viscous so I love the silliness of this game uh, it just cracks me up and I like this like what is this that we're going we got a spaceship or an outer space going to another planet that's cool I like the fact that Borderlands is trying to you know stretch out and do some different stuff I like these big cities uh, like futuristic uh, you know that's that's different for Borderlands uh, it's not all in the desert not all apocalyptic. Um, I like the feel of that. On Zero, he was probably one of my favorite characters to be as. But it looks like there's gonna be some promising stuff with Borderlands 3, and I think we're all excited about that. But let's get into Gears 5. Gears 5, one of my favorite franchises. I just love the over-the-top grittiness and dark sense of doom, hiding behind cover, chainsaw, guns, just so much testosterone. I love it. Love it. Always liked the Gear games. So, um... Not really sure what uh, this guy's plan of action is. Um, hmm. Go oh, get yourself eaten so you can bust out. I don't know if Marcus would be down for something like that. I'd call the Marcus police. Anyways, until they introduced the horde mode, there wasn't a whole lot of replayability in the first couple of gears. But that horde mode was a blast. Versus was a blast. So I'm kind of looking to see what's going on, you know, what this game's going to be all about. Been playing some Gears 4 with my boys, tried to get them to like it, but the first time we played it, they hated it. Um, but now they're having a blast doing the horde mode with me. And they really, really like chainsawing Uncle Scuba. I like that. I know that's one thing I didn't like about Gears is you kind of always move slow and they're moving faster and when you're running it looks like you can leap over an obstacle instead of sticking to it. Um, that, that may be something that might help this franchise out a lot more. Faster movement, uh, easier to get around. This personal shield is interesting. That's something new. Um, seems like it might be for wimps. I'll let you decide who on our team you think we're probably using that shield the most. 
Uh, this just looks like a good, fun co-op game. Uh, I've just, I've always loved the co-op aspect of these Gears games. That always drew me in. And they always add just a little something extra, like these hammers. Swinging these hammers around, that looks fun. Uh, what don't I want to do in this game? And for me, my favorite part about all the Gears games is the co-op mode. Just going through the story and doing it in co-op, I love it. I, you know, it doesn't last that long, I might beat it in a day or two but I just get such a thrill out of it. Fortunately, I don't know that Gears of War is going to make my number one slot of these three. So let's go over my top three. I'm going to pick Ghost Recon first, then Gears 5, then Borderlands 3. Uh, Borderlands, it just looks like it's more of the same, which isn't a bad thing. Um, it's still going to be a lot of fun. Um, Gears, I feel like it's still a little bit more of the same too, but I do want to see what's going on with these characters and their storylines. Now, however, Breakpoint is interesting simply for the fact of a co-op game to play with some friends because everyone has a position, assaulter, a sniper, um, you know, just trying to look out for each other and assault together. That's what excites me. So right now, that's my pick. But I am interested in what you guys want to play. What's interesting you guys? Let me know in the comments.